Hi guys, it's Babaloo, and I just got back from watching Jurassic World, so now I'm going to tell you about it. So if you don't know, Jurassic World is a continuation from the original Jurassic Park trilogy. So this is the fourth installment, and it is connected with the rest of them. The basic premise of this movie is that the park is open, it's called Jurassic World, and it's really famous now. But of course, in a world where people can go and see dinosaurs whenever they want, people get bored. So in order to recapture people's excitement, they decided to make a brand new dinosaur called the Indominus Rex. And it is scary. And yeah, it's a Jurassic Park movie, so the dinosaur gets out, kills a bunch of people, and they have to stop it. I want to make one thing very clear. In the trailers for this movie, they totally market Chris Pratt as being the main character, but he is not. The main character is Bryce Dallas Howard, who plays Claire. She's basically the one who runs the park. She's just kind of a generic character, you know, she sees the business side of it, doesn't really think of the dinosaurs as animals, she thinks of them as numbers, that sort of thing. Whereas Chris Pratt's character, Owen, has been working with the Velociraptors and has basically asserted himself as the alpha in the group, so they take orders from him. But when I say they take orders from him, it's not like, you know, he says stuff and they listen. Basically dinosaurs are just like animals. They can recognize who is the most dominant and respectable being there and that's who they follow. Vincent D'Onofrio is also in this. He plays a guy that's very military minded. He wants to use dinosaurs for the military. And there's some other characters but we don't really care about them all that much. So yeah this movie it's really good. However it did shy away from what Jurassic Park is all about. And when I say that, I'm talking about the first Jurassic Park movie, because let's be serious, that's the only good one. The first one was so good, the second and the third really sucked. This one is definitely the second best after the first one. But what I mean is, in this movie, basically it's just a monster movie. The Indominus Rex is the bad guy, people have to try and survive. That's really all there is to it. There is other stuff to it, but it's really not that interesting and it really doesn't pull you in. What Jurassic Park does, right, is it has characters that you care about and a really good story. There's so much stuff going on. And I mean, come on, it has Jeff Goldblum. Who doesn't want to see a movie with that guy? And this movie has all your favorite returning dinosaurs, such as Velociraptor, Tyrannosaurus Rex, Pterodactyl, Brontosaurus, Stegosaurus, Triceratops, and there's also a big water one that you saw in the trailers. Now one thing that really bugged me about this movie was that the character Claire had high heels on for this entire movie. Now I don't wear high heels, but I know basically what they're good for and what they're not good for, and running is not one of them. There are a lot of situations in this movie where she should have died because there's no way she could have outrun that. But anyways, that's just a small thing, but it, it really bothered me. So what did this movie do right? kept your attention. It scared you when it had to. It was very suspenseful. Chris Pratt, he's his own good thing. I think we can all agree Chris Pratt is pretty great. Now what did this movie do wrong? There wasn't any depth to it. It was try and survive and that's pretty much it. Lots of characters you don't care about. Lots of characters who you know are there just to get killed. And they tried to bring this whole family thing into it that just didn't really work. And also, I got really excited when they were making this movie because they said they were bringing back the puppetry and mechanics from the original Jurassic Park. Not everything was going to be CG. While that is true, there was very rarely an actual dinosaur that wasn't CGI. There was maybe about one or two times when you saw a dinosaur that was an actual, you know, mechanical puppet or whatnot. And I know it's difficult to do because, I mean, there aren't any dinosaurs around but still if they could do that way back in the 90s I'm sure they could do it now so now I'm gonna say this movie gets my rating of pretty good it was a very entertaining movie it's one you can just go in and watch and not worry too much about but it could have been better so why don't you guys tell me what your favorite dinosaur movie is it could be the first Jurassic Park it could even be we're back yeah that's an actual movie I bet you haven't heard of it Oh god, I sound like a hipster. But, whatever it is, put it down in the comments and we can discuss it. That's what's so great about the YouTube comments. I can actually talk to you guys. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Before I let you go, I just want to let you guys know that if you haven't gotten enough of me, you can follow me on Twitter, at Babaloo, or like my Facebook page, facebook.com slash Babaloo. That way, you can get updates when new videos come out. You can also check out some of my older videos, which I'm showing you here, and click that like and subscribe button. It really helps out a lot. Thanks for watching.